Today we are installing Windows 8.1 after the end of support. To get started, verify the regional settings are correct and click Next. Then click the Install Now button. Enter your product key and click Next. Scroll to the bottom of the license agreement, mark the box for I accept the license terms, then click Next. Unless you are upgrading from a previous version of Windows, select the Custom option. The hard drive I'm going to be installing Windows on is in the list, so I can click the New button, which will create a new partition. We will be using the full size of the drive, so we can click Apply. We get a message that a system partition is going to be created, and then we can click the Format button. Click on OK to confirm that data on the drive may be lost. Once the drive is formatted, click Next. This part is going to take several minutes, so now would be a good time to talk about how to get an installation disk image for Windows 8.1. As of the time of this recording, we are able to get an ISO directly from Microsoft. If you are using real hardware, you will either need to burn the ISO to a DVD or create a bootable USB flash drive. The download page for the ISO has a link to the Windows USB DVD download tool. This is what the tool looks like. Click the Browse button to point to the ISO file, then click Next. Then choose the media type, which in this case will be a USB device. Make sure the correct USB drive is selected and click Begin Copying. One long and boring progress bar later, we have a bootable USB drive that we can install Windows 8.1 from. If this is your first time using Windows 8.1, it's going to be an experience. Is that the right word? In fairness, Windows 8.1 did address a lot of issues with Windows 8. The start menu is back. There is a setting that allows you to boot to the desktop. And it is generally easier to navigate the operating system with a keyboard and mouse. If you're not familiar with the history of Windows 8, it's essentially a tablet interface, which did not function for desktop users, which is why Windows 8 was very quickly replaced with Windows 8.1. The installation is now complete, and the PC will reboot. We are now in what Microsoft calls the out-of-box experience. This is essentially a wizard that will allow you to select some settings. And then we can give the PC a name, and then click the Next button. For this installation, I'm going to click on the button to use Express Settings. However, there are two points here that concern me. The first is, help improve Microsoft software, services, and location services by sending us info. It doesn't specify what information is being sent, and that could literally mean any information. The second point is, let Windows and Apps use your name, account picture, and advertising ID, and request your location from the Windows Location platform. I'm not keen on having to sign into Windows with my Microsoft account, so I'm going to select Create a Local Account from this screen. This part of the out-of-box experience is capable of checking Windows Update and downloading them. At the time of this recording, there are no issues with the Windows Update feature in Windows 8.1. It is working properly. No additional action is required to get security updates through the Windows Update feature. Here we are at the desktop. We have completed the installation for Windows 8.1.